Welcome to another movie. Uh, this time I have another um, another to uh, tool that I just buy, and uh, I'm uh, really happy with this one because uh, mostly these tools are quite expensive, and I did find uh, one that is not so expensive and it's working fine. So what it is, if they let me take it out, I need to find a better storage for this. Uh, it's something like this. So this is, uh, let me read it, uh, Daniel HI-18. It's a thermograph uh, camera or, or uh, it's a uh, infrared uh, thermal camera. So th what this uh, tool does, it's uh, showing the temperature on uh, uh, on the camera uh, but, but what's the difference between the more expensive and this one this one doesn't uh, have two cameras uh, so the more expensive uh, thermograph cameras uh, have the second lens that it's filming uh, what you see now and put uh, on this movie the thermal uh, image this one only have this but actually I don't need that because I can see what what's uh, uh, what I uh, want to measure let me take this off I don't need that I don't think so so uh, what you have in here it's a micro USB for charging probably also also for uh, upgrading I don't know that of course the um, infrared uh, lens on the back and three buttons uh, the left button is on off so you just hold it you have a logo and it's on now so now it's uh, showing my desk because there is nothing uh, in front of me of course it will not show it but you have a maximum uh, temperature with this spot it's uh, actually uh, now it's uh, watching the minimum temperature that it's uh, seeing and a TA as far as I know it's a temperature that uh, uh, a small white spot let me get it a little closer uh, there is a small sorry uh, because of the resolution uh, there is small white spot that it's uh, uh, moving around and, and that's uh, measuring the temperature in many spots so it's a average uh, temperature as, uh, as far as I understand uh, now when I put my hand in here uh, you can see it's showing let me put it a little higher you can see it's showing the temperature so now it's uh, uh, 31 points uh, Five uh, uh, Celsius uh, degrees. Of course, this is the uh, the test that everyone uh, showing, so that's must have. So I also needed to do that. Of course, I can with these two buttons, I can regulate the max uh, the maximum and the minimum temperature that is showing as a uh, cold and high. So now, as you can see. Uh, of course that's uh, that will not be a big difference uh, when I put my finger uh, next to the camera but you can see the background is uh, cold so now I hope this battery will survive for, for me instead of uh, everyone else I will use the silicon pad that I had uh, for my 3d printer and we will heat it up let me dig out into my power supply so now it's on, it still uh, doesn't see it because uh, it's uh, heating, now you can see. And we can see that uh, on the left side is uh, heated much more than on the right side. Let me pick it up. You can see uh, where is the uh, highest temperature in this moment. And this doesn't heat uh, too much, but uh, I will try to heat it a little bit more you can see that my hand is colder than this one uh, according to the uh, temperature is uh, 58 if I remember it's 60 max so now, now it's uh, 39 and this spot is about 40 maximum so that's uh, the cool part I don't need to uh, watch the uh, look at it 
because it's showing me on the uh, right side what's the temp maximum temperature and I can see uh, where is the highest temperature in, uh, in here. Of course I can reduce to see uh, completely where is the highest temperature as you can see now. So that's the one test. I can of, uh, of course take it uh, fully up. Now let me turn this off. Get it. Let's move it to the side and I will show you on the sold soldering station. Okay, it's on. It may be a bit hard to hold it like this. But, but as you can see it's already getting hot. You will also see what's the maximum temperature now uh, of uh, showing it. Seven, eight, eighty, one hundred is a total max. One hundred fifty, uh, one hundred fifty, and you clearly can see where is the hotel. Let me increase a little bit the temperature. Now it's completely uh, blue around it because this is the hottest uh, spot in this uh, moment. 200, I don't remember, 300, 350 if I remember. So this may take a while. As you may already see, the tip is not the hottest uh, part. So I think my tipping needs to be uh, clean a little bit. 300, 250. Well, I have a 100 degree less than I should have. <laughs> Actually, I did not know that. <laughs> so about 243, uh, 250 now. Still going up, but. Let's, let me move it closer. Yes, of course, uh, moving closer increase the temperature. 270, moving backward is 200. So, of course, it will increase uh, increase the temperature. You can see it's 200. Probably it's, it is uh, about 250 degrees. Uh, let me maybe put it like this. We can still see it. Uh, so, of course, uh, this is not completely. Uh, wait, let me turn off the station. Sorry. So, of course, this is not uh, completely accurate because it's just a uh, infrared camera. Uh, of course, I still have a uh, gun, uh, my thermal gun uh, to measure it. Uh, so I can always measure more precisely, but this tool allow me to uh, see what uh, what actually uh, what part of any uh, device or something like that is actually heating up. So if you have a circuit, a RC car, or anything like that, you can see what actual uh, part is uh, heating. Uh, and uh, you can uh, cool it down so that's a really great uh, thing when I have a circuit uh, where some uh, part is uh, damaged and mostly it's overheating I can just see it uh, which uh, which part it is and just uh, replace it or uh, cool it down if, uh, if that's uh, damage. So really great tool. I will uh, put a link in the description. There is a battery. I uh, doesn't remember how long the battery lasts, but uh, this tool is uh, really small. It's uh, really handy and it's really useful when you uh, you are working with electronic with uh, some RC and you just uh, need to see what's uh, over uh, what's uh, overheating and what part is hitting most it's a really great uh, tool so that's all for now